Welcome back to Healthy Nasty Kitchen TV. Today another video, but today it's a special video because I want to teach you how to understand the sourdough percentages, which is an issue that many bakers, especially beginners, found during their journey. But before that, please push the like button because that shows the video to many more other people. If you haven't subscribed yet to this channel, please consider doing so because 92% of you who are watching my videos aren't subscribed yet. So if you wanna show me some kindness and appreciation for my work of creating this content, feel free to subscribe. Let's go to it. So sourdough percentages, what are sourdough percentages? Percentages in baking are used especially to find out how many grams, kilos we need to produce a certain product. In this case, we're talking about a white loaf of bread made with sourdough culture. Let's begin by identifying the amount of flour that we want, which is one kilo, a thousand grams, and what percentages we want of water in that case. So in this case, I'm aiming for a 75% hydration. So that means that I will need to calculate my percentages to the flour. You always calculate the wet ingredients percentages to the flour. Keep that in mind. So in this case, I want to find out what's the 75% of a thousand grams, which equals 750 grams of water. Now, one of the difficulties that many people encounter is when understanding, okay, but what about the sourdough culture? How do we account for that into the recipe? And this is when this video coming in help for you. So, once we have found out the amount of water that we need and the amount of flour that we want to use, we need to find out the amount of sourdough culture that we want. For example, let me cross the line here. If you want to use 20% of sourdough culture to the 1000 grams of flour will equal to 200 grams of sourdough culture. Okay? We found out this figure now. This figure, if you're using a 100% hydrated sourdough, which means 100 grams of water and 100 grams of flour, you will need to remove this amount from the water and the flour. In this case, we have this one is divided into 100 grams of water, H2O, and 100 grams of flour, okay? So this makes it easy for us because now we need to develop a recipe where we have removed 100 grams of water from the total amount of water and we need to remove the amount of flour from the amount of flour that we have in the original recipe. So of course, 1000 grams of flour minus 100 grams of water, we will have 900 grams of flour. The other way, we have 750 grams of water, we will need to remove 100 grams of water from the amount original because it's already into the sourdough culture. So now we have accounted for that, we basically understood how to find the percentages. This is basic, now I want to cross another line. I want to teach you how to find out the amount of hydration that's into a recipe just by looking at it. Because some recipes don't have the hydration. So what will you, you will need to do is account for all wet ingredients. Let's say we found a recipe with uh, 585 grams of flour, okay? And we find a recipe with, uh, and this same recipe has uh, 385 grams of water, okay, and uh, it's got 100 grams of sourdough culture, okay, sourdough. Now, of course, with the aid of a um, calculator, we'll find this answer here. So now I have the calculator here, okay. I'm gonna type the amount of water first, 385, divided by the amount of flour, 585, and I will find out, as you can see, the amount of percentage of water that's into the recipe. And this one equals to 65%, you can see. 
65%, okay? That 0 0.65 means that we have a 65 percentage of water into the dough, okay? But now we need to also count for an extra 50 grams of water, an extra 50 grams of flour. So once we do that, we need to add 50 grams here, and we need to add 50 grams here, which comes from the Sabado culture, okay? So we have 585 plus 50 grams equals to 535, okay? And this one equals to 435. So now we're gonna do the same operation. We're gonna count for the water first and then for the flour. So again, 435 divided 500, uh, 600, sorry, 600, 635. Equals sixty eight percent. Sixty eight percent of flour. There, you, there you go. There you have your recipe. There, there you have the way you can calculate the some of the percentages. So it's not very difficult once you know how to do it. And in this case, I hope that you understood how this one is done, how this one is calculated. Um, I think that's very clear now. So, I'll repeat it very shortly and briefly now. So, once you've found your amount of flour and water that you want to use, the hydration that you want to have, 75%, you calculate the amount of water to the flour. And that's what we did here. Here we go. Okay? Once we have established that, we need to find the amount of sourdough culture that we want to use into our sourdough. And here we have it. And then we need to remove the amount of water and flour contained into the sourdough from the flour and the water and that's it as simple as that so i hope you learned something new today please take a screenshot of this whiteboard because this will be very helpful for you in the future this will be very helpful from now on for all of you and uh, if you haven't subscribed yet please consider subscribing if you haven't followed me on instagram at nasty kitchen please do so if you haven't pushed the like button and you love this operation if you love this content please do so i'll uh, thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time ciao